I'm Rodney Kovacic from Baytown. Welcome to Project 42. Uh, this prop here is a small prop, but it's it's a high-powered prop. It's it's a lot. It's what we call a pump alley, but we got a lot of high-pressure LPG and uh, some liquid hydrocarbon. So what we got here is uh, we're, what we're going to do here at this class is is we're up to we're getting our 1081 certification, right? So we're going to do the same thing here that you do back at the plant. You're going to get to the scene. You're going to find your operator. You're going to find out what what his needs are and. Uh, all the, all the questions in the, on the 1081 that y'all went through the other day, they'll be, uh, we'll be sizing it up just like that here. So you know, what, I, what I would suggest you do, who's ever going to be IC, is everybody remain, remain seated. And uh, IC, he, makes, he gets with the process guy, finds out, first of all, what? That's the first question you're going to ask when you size it. Exactly. Everybody accounted for, right? And then what's burning? Well, you got any, you got any remote blocks you can make? Uh, and operations is gonna gonna give you that feedback, and then you go just make your assignments and go to work. So, so I'll be your process operator. Who wants to who wants to volunteer to be IC on this one? Okay. So what I would suggest is everybody remain seated until he gets the size up from operations, and then he makes assignments. The way I like to do it is just got just go down the line and say hose line one, turbo jet nozzle. You be his backup. You take third. Hose line two, turbo jet nozzle, set at 125, back up third, hose line three. We're gonna make it a foam line as well as the tack line. So when you when you're flowing foam, go to 95 GPM. When you're tacking, go to 125, right? And communicate with your guy on the on the bucket that's got the ductor. And if, if I forget some as I'm going along, you guys remind remind the IC, you know, that hey, what kind of bypass, what kind of ductor you want? What kind of foam do you want? How many sections of hose do you want? That communication, it's not, it's not cheating, it's winning, right? We want to we wanna nail this thing come Thursday. Everybody gets their certification. Okay, I see I'm gonna be your operator. And uh, I've blown the whistle for, for the fire brigade. Looking for my fire team. I need your help. I got a fire out here on my unit. Put it out for okay. me, okay? Is everybody accountable? No, sir. I got one guy missing in the unit. Okay, so we got one guy missing out there. Right. Do you have any remote isolations before we send anybody in? Maybe? We've already blocked everything we can remotely. We need you guys to go in and make four blocks for us. I got three LPGs and one hydrocarbon, liquid hydrocarbon that I need okay. you guys to get. So that's what we have burning. Three LPGs and one liquid hydrocarbon. Yes, sir. Okay. And we have adequate lighting. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. All right. Where did you come in? Guys, help them out. Right. Assignments? No. Okay. Wait, what's your wind direction? What's the, what's the wind direction? Yeah. Okay. How are you going? What side are you? Y'all need to be listening. If he misses anything going down that list. Is that a, is that a test criteria? I think it's on there. Wind direction? Anybody else hear that? Okay, that's the first time I've heard it. <laughs> okay. Part of your side. Wait a second. Okay. We verbalize how we're going to approach the fire. That's fair. Okay. 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 But wind direction. Well, okay. Wind direction is always important in your size up, okay. right? Of course. Yeah. So I, I just I'm just, a... I'm just going through what I do back at home, right? Okay. Oh. I think just the approach is on the test. Just approach. Okay. Okay. All right. Simon. We're gonna approach it up.